Hello and welcome to another Brawl Hack tutorial. I'm Shock44 once again, and today we are going to look at um, just briefly again touching on the sound effects replacement. Where I talked, I, I'm just going to talk about the uh, the new the newest uh, Sans Sans um, 0.12 um, program. There's a I've I've heard from my friend that there's a super sans program, but I don't know where to get it, and he's told me it's not as good as you would expect it to be. That that you should just keep on using this and wait till someone else like makes um, something like like it, it, it improves on the sa super sans program. So sans 0.12, you can get you can get this by going to Brawl Vault. And going to resources. It, I know it's a small button, but these buttons are useful. Resources and advanced search. Um, and then you go down here, and it says Sans, and it's in the useful tools category. You, um, here's a little tip. Right here, I know everyone's probably going to be like, "Ah, oh, whenever I click on View All on characters, it doesn't work anymore. What do I do?" It doesn't work on stages either. Ah. Okay. Just go to advanced search, and then put go to go to the search, but don't put anything in there. Just click submit, and it'll show you all the new hacks, all the new hacks, and all the new and all and all the in all the different categories. And if you want to pick a particular category of what new hacks you want to see, just go to, like right here. Any type, search stage or character audio whatever and then click submit and don't type anything in the boxes and then it'll just show you what's the newest character or stage or anything and then you'll um be able to see what the new st what the new hacks are it's kind of sucky that we don't we don't we aren't able to use uh this thing like these little buttons these like really easy to use buttons but you know you can do that right here with the search function just choose like what kind of hack you want to see like import or or anything and then like just choose the character on this list right here like Pikachu or Meta Knight whatever and then after you choose that you submit and now we get to see that the newest Ike Ike hack is uh the no more heroes Travis touchdown guy you know Travis touchdown he's pretty awesome uh I, I wish someone would like uh you know do his different costumes you get when you like buy them from the shop or whatever later on or like his, his other like um, weapons you get that'd be pretty cool so back to the sans program what you need to do first is uh, figure out what you're going to you know replace and what you want to do and such what your course of action is. Just just first op uh, open up Smashbox and then um, go to the character. Let's do let's just go to uh, what is it? What was I was doing? Why was I doing Pikachu? So let's go to Pikachu and uh, these are all the wave files and so Right here, it says group ID. The group ID is whatever this is. That says S N D group Chara Pikachu. It'd be the same for all of these. Like whatever the group ID is, that's the group ID. Click on it. Go over here. It says 0x12 on ID. So that means you just type in 12. Don't type in 0x12. Just type in 12. The 0x is just something that's there. It's a hex thingy. Um, for collection ID, just type in two five three. Because that's what it says. It says it says zero x two five three. Same thing for like Fox. It's this one says zero x two ten. So the first one right here, right here, this is for um, Fox's voices. Then right here, it's for Fox's sound effects, like his pew pew, and his like laser gun, or whatever, or his um. Any, anything, any kind of thing, any sound effect he makes, it's unique to him. And then, so for Pikachu, it's 253 for the voices. And I'm just making sure that's a voice and not a sound effect. 
And then for the wave file, we just choose like six, five, four, three, seven, whatever. Or zero. Zero is a wave file number. Just type in the number of that wave file. And then uh, don't worry about this using ba base wave or base wave ID. Those are not something you need to worry about. I don't know what they do, but just don't worry about them. They don't do anything for you that I know of. So let's just uh, choose the wave file we want to use. I already went over how to do wave files and how to make your own sound files for this stuff. All you need to make sure is that the wave file has the right frequency. This frequency for Pikachu's voices is three is 32,000. So I've uh, made this sound file of Raichu my friend gave me. A bunch of Raichu sound files. And I'm and this, I made this into a 32,000 frequency wave file. And we just use that. It says converting. Comes up with this little box. And it'll have these random numbers. It's saying it, it's altering some byte codes or whatever. Replacing whatever, doing whatever it needs to do, and then it when it once it's done, it'll say it's done. It, like this, this thing will just poof. Now it's done. See, like this box turns to a black box that says converting. That means it's, you can't use it right then. So now we, it just changed the sound file in here, and if we go in here, it should be different. Though if you have, uh, um. I think, yeah, a, a Windows that is 64-bit, uh, this won't work for you. Like, you can use Smashbox, but when you click play, you can't, like, the play button doesn't work for you for some reason. It only works for 32-bit Windows operating systems, which really sucks, but what are you going to do? So, down here, it says hex packets and dot sans, sans files, and uh, so... What you do for insert hex packet, I'm not really sure about that. I'm going to assume that insert hex packet is if like you get a hex packet that um, you get with the with the file when you download the well download a character and it comes with the hex packet and not the sand file. You just click insert hex packet and you go find the hex packet and then you have to figure out like go in Smashbox find out. Unless they tell you in like some instructions that when you get the hack, you're gonna have to know you gotta have to know the group ID for that character. So like let's say Luigi. Uh, this is number thirteen, so I just type in thirteen and I have to and I insert the hex packet and then I just does it over Luigi. I don't know if that's how it works because I've never tried it with any hex packets from any sound effects or placement uh, download. All I've done is uh, for hex packets is just use the HXD program, which I showed you in the last part or last tutorial. Now, um, create sound. That's pretty straightforward. Like type in like the group ID. Like let's say we want we want to make a sound file of Luigi, and if you, like you cre if it create, and it'll um, make a sw a sound file based on Luigi's. Uh, Sound effects group, and I'm pretty sure that should have done something. Let's just double check because sometimes this program doesn't really like to insert a sound or create a sound the way I want it to. I don't know. I had some problems with the Riotu one. I was trying to make a Riotu one, and it was not cooperating. It was like saying the Raichu sound file isn't like big enough or I mean it would uh, make it and then it, the file wouldn't be that big and then I would try to I would insert it back in just make sure I can insert it back in because I was doing it for a friend and when I insert it back in it uh, wouldn't work like it should okay so that's 823 kilobytes uh, let's just, um, try something else. Let's delete that file that it made. So we delete that file, and then we just, let's close, let's close the, the smash box. Let's, uh, close sand, sans, whatever, 
that's just a weird name. I have an idea. Let's call it Sans. Like, why not just Sounds or Brawl Custom Sound Program or something that people can remember, not Sans. Hello, I have a program named Sans. Why is it called that? Because I speak a different language. Well, why is it in English then? Because I, I just don't understand why it's called Sansed. Did they just like go? Oh, you know what? Let's call it Sansed. Is there like a certain file in the brawl file that it's called Sans for no reason? Anyway, uh, let's type in 13 again and click Create Sand. Okay, that gave us a file that is 4.44 megabytes. That is acceptable. If it was kilobytes, that would be not acceptable. It has to be like at least two megabytes. So this file contains the memory of the sound group for Luigi sounds. So if I wanted to give Luigi sounds to some friend and then he could like, like if he was trying to put Luigi sounds back in, like he didn't like the ones he replaced, then I could just give this to my friend and he would like open this program click insert sound and then choose uh, the sound file I made and then insert it back in and he would have Luigi's sounds back to normal or if I change the Luigi sound if I choose if I choose if I changed Luigi's sounds to like let's say I had like SBO over Luigi for some random reason I would put SBO sounds on the Lu on Luigi sounds I have to replace them using the top part with the wave insertion, and then if I wanted to give them to a friend, I would let, I would make it make it uh, a sans file, and I'd click create sand after putting in group ID 13, and then my friend would take the or anybody could take that sand and click insert sand and then choose that sand file. And when it's when it's uh, saved it as sand.sand, just change it to luigi.sand or sbo.sand or sonic.sand or whatever, and uh, that they'll be fine. So yeah, that's how you use this program. Uh, back upload. I have no idea what. Okay, this pop up. Okay, I know what this does. I know what this does. This creates a backup of your sub Smash Brothers sound file. You could do that yourself, actually. Just copy-paste it, which is what I would do. But I guess this thing has a function like that, so that's nice. All right, moving on to this um, this this program. 